interfaith family. My wife uh, is a very deep and, and uh, faithful woman in, in her Muslim faith, and I've learned much more about my own Roman Catholic and Christian um, faith through watching and observing and learning about what is common between our religions and our culture. I will give you a, a brief confession. Uh, when we first got married, I tried to do uh, the fasting during Ramadan, and I lasted all of two days before I, uh, I gave up. So uh, with, with great humility, I, uh, I have great respect. This is a difficult uh, period, 18 hours between sunrise and sunset. Great self-discipline. Um, I also want to honor uh, the uh, Metropolitan United Church. I imagine that this is a gathering space that has fed and looked after the marginalized and victimized of this city for almost two centuries. Homeless and the ill and the newcomers and those who have been displaced. And we are sharing a very honored um, space here. Um, and I think we should think and reflect on that uh, as we approach the mealtime. Uh, I want to thank you for your hospitality and I want to thank you, particularly John Joseph, for your partnership with 51 Division of the Toronto Police Service. And obviously we need to pay honor to IDI. Um, we're about to welcome the world in terms of the Pan Am Games. But we're welcoming the world's faith here tonight. I imagine every one of the major religions are represented in these walls and will break bread today. Uh, the great challenge of the last century was the issue of race and human rights. This is the issue, I think, now of religion and bringing people together. So this is an important event, not just for the city, but an important symbolic event for the rest of the world. I also want to pay honor to our police officers here. It might be a bit self-serving, but it's in this respect. Some of the officers here today are Muslim themselves, and they are fasting. Um, and yet, despite the fast, they're going out into their neighborhoods, up in Dixon Road in 23 Division in the northwest end of the city, right here in 51 Division in Regent Park. They're going out, carrying out the full um, discipline of the fast, carrying out their full duties, and doing it in full partnership with their local communities, using their own personal faith as a bridge to build to the communities that don't trust us and to young people in particular that aren't sure where they stand with us. And I great, take great pride in seeing them in their daily duties. I take great honor in seeing how they're able to bring their own personal faith into their workspace. It's a difficult thing to be a police officer and to be objective and neutral all the time, but still come as a human being into the very dynamic and difficult circumstances. And it's those officers that find that unique ability to balance their personal life and their professional responsibilities that I think make us a very rich a very strong police service and allow us to form these types of strong partnerships. I want to thank the work of Johnny Bogley and his team from the DPSU in partnering with IBI and putting on this event tonight. And again, on behalf of all the men of the Toronto Police Service, uh, thank you very much for all that you do and for all of you that have given up your evening to come here today. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you.